three months I have waited. Three long and trying months for my package to arrive. But finally, it appears six days ago at my door. And I managed to resist opening it until now. Well, hey, I can do a proper unboxing for you. So guys, as you can see on the desk in front of you, we have a package from RTLW, this lovely wax seal. And if you're familiar with RTLW, you will probably know that they have got some fantastic looking miniatures to represent a number of factions in the Warhammer 40,000 universe. Now this includes factions from Necromunda, such as the Palan Palanite or Palantine Enforcers, um, but it also includes certain Eldar aspect temples, and orcs like a set or like this is of course and uh, some other imperial factions um, guard and imperial naval officers and stuff like that some menial staff as well as the uh, leadership you know the leader characters and some squads as well here we go i've got an unboxing i can't remember exactly what i've ordered from them so it's a bit of a surprise to me this um, i've waited three months for this to arrive they did a special deal in October on a lot of their orc range so I, uh, I went in and grabbed some of that but the demand was so high that it took a long time for it to arrive for me but without further ado let's uh, let's get this open and it's a shame to uh, just break it like that but hey I've got to get inside haven't I there's a lot of waxy dust on my desk there turn that sideways these are similar, reminiscent in shape and everything to the old GW boxes that they used to use that had uh, polystyrene inside. But uh, overall, so far, I am impressed with the packaging more than anything else. Although the miniatures look fantastic too. I'm hoping the quality of them, as I knock things over on the desk, uh, stands up to my expectations. So we've got some GW style bases here, slightly different. Um, it's slightly taller, I'd say, than a GW base, but that's like a 25 mil base, I'd wager. Uh, and a, a 40 mil there, I guess. Let's get them out of the way. That's not what we've come for. Get all this basic material out of the way. And what I'll do is move the box out of shot, and then gradually show you each miniature. Like I said, I can't truly remember what I've ordered, so it's a little bit of a surprise to me. This is a bag of bits by the looks of it. There's so many bits here. I wonder if this is part of um, a larger character miniature. That's one thing with some of the RTLW stuff. Dude. It looks like there's a lot of bits on, on each miniature. I'm just going to pour this out onto the thingy and see if I can work out what it is. Looks like it might be some kind of weird boy. <laughs> I should have opened my uh, emails from when I've ordered the product and uh, got an idea of what I was showing you. But let's have a look, see if we can't work this out. Well, obviously there's a torso. Just the uh, quality of resin there is ridiculously good. There's, it doesn't feel um, like there's any mold release on it. It's similar in, similar in feel to the stuff you open from Cromlech, I'd say. Ah, right, here we go. So that's uh, the gate at the bottom there, so I can't quite stick it together. But that's definitely a weird boy sort of stompy stance, isn't it? He's got um, a sandal on one foot. Look at the detail on that, it's beautiful. Sandal on one foot and a boot on the other foot. And he's got these cables wrapping around his leg, uh, sort of connecting to that boot, so it's like a shackle tied to him. Um, and here is the top of his staff, the head of his staff with the uh, with the sort of uh, ram's head or, uh, you know, the sort of bovine head. Some raggedy sort of capes, which will attach on the top of the legs there. Yep, there we go, so they attach there. And this will attach over here to give you a real stompy pose. A right hand there um, again some of these gates just need clipping off before we'll be able to show you properly how it goes together uh, that's a the wrong way around uh, there we go so we've got a right hand there like he's a, he's uh, channeling some energy into his hand and here's a head um, a lovely head there so with a with a weird boy mask on I do like that so you can see his ears behind the mask and everything 
so that he has got an actual head and a face behind the mask. I really enjoy that. And then here's like a a head with a, it's got bells on hanging down from like this leather sort of headdress. And um, that's the weird boy's head. Um, well, I guess you can do it either way. So you can do like a more fantasy style weird boy with the uh, with the sort of tribal mask or you can do the weird boy head there with the um, energy sort of beacons on top and these bells hanging down so all the boys know to get out of the way when the weird boy arrives. He's got a little kind of boss pole there. That'd be a good blood axe boss pole with the axes crossed behind the school glyph. Very nice. And a couple of, uh, again, energy beacons. So this this you could probably make into, if you didn't want to make it into a weird boy, you could probably make it into a kind of mech. Uh, with some like energy, energy weapon. There we go, some fantastic detail on these miniatures. Just want to show you this and the uh, little great detail over a light or whatever that is there. And these little screws detail there now that is tiny you compare the size of my thumb to it shows you just how small that detail is and the the amount of detail in these miniatures is fantastic so i'll get this one out of the way and move on to the next one for you so we have another miniature here ready to show you and i'm just going to crack it open this one i know what this one is because i've been eyeing up this one for a little while now this is basically a pain boy oh two different types of resin there two different colors of resin so this is like a really white resin here very interesting um doesn't feel any different to the touch and there's so much detail in that you can just see the amount of detail in the uh the sort of uh, sinews of the muscle on the on the boy's back here and the hand there um if you've seen the been on the rtlw website you've probably seen this miniature before or if you follow them on facebook just to give you a clue nice and early on what's going on with this miniature here's a big dock a uh, pain boy and he's carrying a boy over his shoulder the boys has his, had his leg chopped off and uh, been brutalized by some imperial thug no doubt the one thing about rtlw's orcs is they're a little more upright and the bums don't stick out as much and that for me i i like the aesthetic of the bum sticking out but i know a lot of people don't like it they say it looks uh looks like they've got scoliosis or you know spine problems basically but to me, it gives him like a real gorilla-like quality. Um, if you don't like that, um, we're carrying the boy. Um, so if you don't want to have him carrying a boy, you can just give him an OT syringe as well, uh, which is this this arm here. Um, one thing to note as well: the RTLW orcs have three three fingers, four digits altogether, three fingers. And uh, let's check out this lad's head. So you can have a head with like the surgical sort of mask. It's a surgical mask with a rebreather attached. I quite like that one myself. And he's got like a, a medical bag as well. Fantastic detail on the leather there. And you can see it's all sort of creased the leather. A canister of some sort, whether it's uh, full of um, nitrous oxide or something, knockout gas. I assume something along those lines. A leg here for the boy. This one will slot in here. So when he's hanging off, hanging off of the uh, the dock, you can see one leg hanging down the front there. Very nice. A fantastic looking sort of saw here, a bone saw. Lovely that. You could stick that in just, if you didn't want to use that on this miniature for some reason, you could stick it in any orc's hand and make yourself a nice new pain boy or mech or something. There's another arm here I've just realized. So we've got a right arm, a left arm, and a final front arm. Now um, we've got, I'm trying to work out which way this one goes on. Or is this for the boy on his shoulder? No, surely not. It is, that's for the boy on his shoulder. That is lovely. Just give you an idea of the size of the boy there as well. It's a decent sized boy. So here is, I believe, no, I thought that was going to be the upper arm piece for, here we go. Here's the upper arm piece for that side. If you want a different arm on both sides. Uh, where's it? We've got the OT syringe, so that's a left hand. That's a right hand. 
No. That's a, well yeah, that's a right hand. That's a right hand. We've got a lot of right hands here. I can't find a left hand. That is interesting. I'm gonna pause there and see if I can dig it out. Right, so I can't find the arm in this bag. They mustn't have been able to fit it in the bag because it's quite a chunky arm. Basically, it's a it's like a big power claw arm um, with three digits, and it looks like they've all got like syringes on the end of them as well. Pretty cool. Um, similar to, but better looking than, in my opinion, the GW Pain Boy one. I don't know what that is. Is that his little um, reflective lens that he wears on his head? I think yeah. Fine little details. Good job I spotted that, to be honest, because I may have just brushed that off to one side. Yeah, there we go. Lovely little detail there. Um, I'm going to pop this back in the bag and uh, I'll check out a few other miniatures. But what I'm not going to go through all the miniatures I've got. What I'll do is take you to the RTLW site and we can have a look at them on there in greater detail and we'll be able to work out what they are. Just as I've been picking the pieces up, I've realised what the hand is. So this is basically the power claw hand. Um, I couldn't... I couldn't work out what was going on. I was looking for like a fleshy hand, uh, but yeah, and so, as soon as I saw it on the website, here's the power claw hand there with the three digits, and there should be one more digit for the thumb as well. Uh, so they'll go together in that sort of fashion to give you an idea of what the hand will look like when it's attached. But um, yeah, it's kind of difficult to show you because there's that many different parts. That's one thing um, I think I said at the start of the video. That's one thing that's kind of a bit frustrating with these RTLW miniatures, but it enables them to get such good casts, I think. Um, so there's pluses and minuses to having loads of parts. You get a, an easier casting process for the for a, what is essentially a small manufacturer like RTLW. So it's fantastic that um, they they maximize their chances of um, succeeding in having these fantastically detailed miniatures um, by doing that basically. So there we go, that's the, uh, that's the pain boy fella. And here's something a little different. So this isn't an orc, but it is one of the orcoid race. It is a squig. Fantastic detail on this squig, just picking his jaw up. He's got a bit of an iron gob there attached to him. Um, but look at that face, that is absolutely gorgeous. The tongue hanging out, you see all the ridges on the underside of his tongue. He's got ridges in the roof of his mouth. And the teeth just look so sharp. It's a little, uh, by the looks of it, a little air bubble just beneath one of the dimples in his tongue there, one of the taste buds. But we can fill that in with a bit of liquid green stuff. Uh, the leather looks suitably worn and everything. He's got armor plating on the top of him. He's quite a narrow squig until you get his legs and put them on and then it gives him that bit of bit of girth that um, squigs are known for. But also, yeah, he, is, he does seem quite narrow still. He's got little T-Rex arms, I've just realized as well. So it differentiates him from the GW squig. He's got these little T-Rex arms, useless arms. So he's a bit like a, a dinosaur-like creature. There we go, I've managed to get him together and hold him into that sort of position. So looking top down now, he looks a bit more rotund, a bit a bit less uh, slim. As soon as you put those chunky thighs on, those chunky legs, and then we can pop that jaw on the bottom as well. And get a good idea of what that miniature looks like when it's fully assembled. Really nice looking miniature. That I had to get that one when I saw it, I was really excited to get it. Um, and then he's got these sort of uh, guns attached, that you attached to him as well. Um, so these just attach on the torso in this area. Um, so you could run this as, say, a knob or something like that if you wanted to. Um, it's a little, you know, a little weird, a little janky. You could put a grot on top of him, have him as a, uh, like a, a grot biker, something like that, with uh, these DACA guns on top there. Um, and then there's this uh, mace as well, which you attach to the end of his tail. So he comes a proper dangerous little little critter there. Fantastic stuff. That's one of the highlights of this unboxing so far for me. Uh, these are like the these are like the Mega Knob equivalents from RTLW, and they are big, big boys. Let me tell you that. So I'll put a Sister of Battle in for to give you an idea of size. So a Sister of Battle is almost as tall as like a Mega Knob, but this Mega Knob is huge. He's an absolute giant of a man. That's it. that's why I think it's easy to um, to confuse myself and think it's. Uh, Think it's the Iron Boss when in fact it's just one of the little fellas this, essentially. Um, if you like big chunky boy orcs, RTLW definitely have something for you. Um, this goes together, just popping the various pieces in there like that. He's got a three digit 
claw, as you can see here, or four digit claw rather, he's got three finger digits and uh, you'll add a thumb in there. If I can find it, I found his head, this fella. Couldn't find that at first. Uh, and that goes on to the head there. If anything, for the body size, the head's a little bit small, um, but it doesn't bother me too much, that. I'm trying to see where that other digit is for the claw. Oh, and you know what, it's this one, isn't it? So the other digit for the claw is the saw, basically. Um, and you'll put it in like that and just chew your enemies up. Or even the other way, no. It will be that way around, won't it? Yeah, and just chew your enemies up. Uh, that claw, that saw for me, one thing to note is it looks like it's pointing in the wrong direction to me now. Um, however, it may be facing that way for a reason. Let's uh, see if I can find these on the website so I know what they are called. I think they're on the previous page, if I'm honest. What are they called, these miniatures? I cannot find them on the website. For the life of me, they're some of the newer miniatures from RTLW anyway. Um, and they are the Iron Nukas of the Horde. So there's three miniatures in total, and you can buy them as three, or you can buy them separately. Um, and they are absolutely fantastic looking when they're built together. What I'll do is put some pictures up on screen for you so you can see them when they're built. But just the quality of the resin, the quality of the cast, we can get some more close-up shots like that. Um, I won't show the other two for, for these um, in miniature details or anything like that. I'll just uh, show you the pictures of the three together to give you a good idea of, of what you can expect. And look at that, a pre-drilled barrel. So if you, if you struggle to dr drill barrels out yourself, it comes pre-drilled effectively. Lovely, lovely amount of detail on these miniatures, as with the previous ones I've shown you. Chain detail on the back there, bullets on the thigh there. Lovely stuff. The bare head that I showed you with the, um, with the iron nukas of the horde there, um, they, they, do, they have sent me some alternative heads as well. Uh, these three heads just in a bag by themselves and these are helmeted heads and it gives them a really a much bulkier appearance so you could add them with the bare head if you want but they do look a little small so these these heads uh, give you a much bulkier appearance really um, so yeah probably more suitable to these uh, effectively what are mega knobs um, three different styles of helmets as well that's like a, almost like a BMX helmet that one very interesting now this bag is going to potentially be the most confusing of all because I think there's a, a few miniatures in here. I think I know what that is. Oh, look at this, fantastic. There's a big spanner in there. Awesome stuff. And then, all these bits, so many bits here. And uh, at least two, at least two orcs in there. Uh, that bit will go there, will it? Yep. Is there at least two orcs in there? Or is it just one? I'm not entirely sure now. I can't remember. I think this is basically, this is, this will give you an idea. It looks like a miner's helmet, that. Uh, but this is like a an RTLW version of a, a mech, basically. If you don't like the head, you could just do a head swap. But um, I don't mind that head myself. It's a, it's a unique looking head, to say the least. To say the least. And he's got like a, an energy weapon slash spanner there. Uh, so that could be a custom Mega Blaster if you want it. And then he's got these uh, sort of things that hang on his backpack. Um, it's like a, it's a lamp effectively and then another orb in a, in a sort of grippy device. So again, that could be represent an energy weapon. He's just got this uh, lump hammer here. I think that's like a lump hammer. I don't really know what a lump hammer is, but I think it's like a, a big a wedge of hammer, a, bit, a big, you know, chunk of a hammer. There we go. I was trying to get that to focus, but it just wasn't having any of it. Um, yeah, and then he's got this backpack here, so we can just pop that on. We can start popping these in, in the different parts of the backpack. That will not go in there. Um, I don't know exactly where these bits go. What I should do is get it up on my t TV, and then I can show you. So now I've got a bit more information available to me. This is called the Mechanic and Mates, basically. And it's for the Iron Horde faction, AKA, uh, basically all techie, techie orcs. Um, this fella here is like a cable carrying grot. 
I'll uh, take these pieces out and try not to mix them in with the other the other pieces for the orc. Um, yeah, let's see. <clears throat> so you can see it's got uh, like a cable reel there that he'll hang on his back. Um, he's got his torso here. Will slot into his body, into his legs rather. And then the head will go on the front there. And it'll be bent over as he carries this huge reel of cable. And a massive spanner too big for him. Uh, that goes on the other side rather. And then a, uh, a little bolt as well. So fantastic looking miniature there, which you didn't really get to see much of. But I'll whack the pictures up on screen for you. So you can see how that miniature comes together. That is a fine selection there of some of RTLW's best miniatures I've just shown you. Whether it's the mechanic or the mega knobs effectively uh, that you like the most. Have you had any RTLW miniatures yourself? What did you think of the build process? I'm yet to experience it obviously. I've just shown you a quick unboxing today and some of the finer details on the miniatures. Uh, one thing I didn't show you though was the grot riding the mechanical swig and I'll pop a picture up on screen for you now because it is such a delight. It adds a lot of character to um, you know what could just be with, with an ammo run or with a grot oiler what could just be a bit of a boring miniature but they uh, put a little fun twist on it there for you just to to you know give you a little chuckle i'll leave it there for now guys thanks very much for watching don't forget you can check out the links in the description below to my patreon twitch instagram and facebook page and you will next see me next Tuesday. Um, you'll have noticed as well, I've switched around my video schedule. So Tuesday is going to be a day for videos now. And live stream is going to go up on Sundays. Uh, my What would be normally Tuesday live streams. Just because of work commitments and my changing job situation and stuff like that. Thanks very much for watching guys. And I'll see you on the battlefield.